previously on X-Men 97 Reaction. Holy shit. That's insane. Yeah, I've been sitting here this whole past week. I'm still stunned. Like, I haven't done anything. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on, hooligans? My name is Robert Adams. Welcome to RCA Reacts, where we have got the finale for X-Men 97. I am eager to see where this is going to go. I feel like this has been, like predictions every week all week i wish i started doing these reactions at the beginning that way everyone who's watching at least like the past two reactions i've done lots of people have been watching very much appreciate that but at least i would have liked to have been doing this at the beginning so y'all could have heard my thoughts throughout the entire season instead of like the like the last half of it trying to guess where things are happening where the story is going to be laying based on what they do in the comics so Right now, we are at the end of the Operation Zero Tolerance storyline with Bastion. We just ended the last episode with being firmly planted into Fatal Attractions with Magneto ripping the adamantium out of Wolverine. I can't believe they did that. That was insane, but I love seeing the fact that they that image in the cartoon like ripped straight from the comics like they pulled it out of the comic books and stuck it in the cartoon i loved it i am eager to see where they go with this i'm going to guess we're going to get a little bit more of the fatal attractions xavier's probably just going to go insanely just mind crazy on magneto uh in which case as i've said before and i've seen all over the internet so this isn't any big surprise i guess this is planting the seeds to get to onslaught the idea that xavier is going to basically lose all control and attack magneto in the mind is going to make magneto or it's going to make xavier have to deal with some of magneto's negative energy and that's basically what's going to create onslaught there's way more to it than that but that's the very bare bones basic idea so i believe we're going to get that I still believe that we are leaning towards uh, some kind of a threat from Apocalypse at some point. I don't know how. I know Apocalypse is a major part of the Onslaught story. So this season may end with Onslaught coming. And then we begin the next season with like a little bit of Apocalypse as Onslaught is growing to be the bigger threat through the entire season. That's what I would expect. And if Apocalypse is coming back... I guarantee you he's also probably going to be bringing back Gambit as the Horseman of Death in tow. There's no way, no way that they're going to get rid of one of the most popular fan favorite characters of Gambit. In the comic books, he does serve as the Horseman of Death for Apocalypse, so I would not be surprised if they did that like at the end of this or going into the next season. That would be like the big surprise as Gambit's back. And if you know the comic books, you're prepared for it. If not, big huge surprise. And I would still be eager and surprised no matter what. Anyways, I don't know what else to talk about in this. I'm curious as to how everything's going to end with this. This is a much longer episode, so let's jump into this while we can. Previously on X-Men. We need to find Magneto and convince him to reverse the damage to... <laughs> Once again, this cartoon is phenomenal. This is some of the best Marvel television that Marvel's ever marveled. No! Love of God, don't do this! Oh, we gotta relive this again. Should be pretty much getting everybody in this one now. With the exception of Gambit. I love that, like, Nightcrawler just seems to be a mainstay in this now. Uh, kind of weird that we don't have Sunspot in there yet. Nice! Nice little throwback to uh, Inter Magneto where they show his uh, past. God, you're suicidal. Or sentimental, maybe. Nice. So we're going to start with that past, that shot that was in the opening. Mutants exist. They don't. <laughs> they don't. They're already the best everything. Best tribe. Best faith. Best YouTube reaction for X-Men 97. Thank you. Be mindful not to sound like you actually are a mutant. What if I were? Would it be so strange? In my experience, minds are far harder to bend than metal. 
wow, the lines that they have for this show are so good. Like the way that they're doing this. Do you yearn for Bastion's bastard cyborgs to resume their pogrom? Bastion's bastard cyborgs. There's a mouthful. Restore Earth's power or I will hijack your mind and force you to do so. Whoa. Psychic penetration risks leaving both our minds shattered. There's Onslaught. There's the uh, the seed, the seed planted for Onslaught right there. There it goes. Please. Oh, that's pretty much from the comic book also. Oh, now we're gonna see the effects on Earth. There's Silver Samurai. Nice! Captain America and the Iron Man from the 90s cartoon. <laughs> Daredevil. Who I think was only in Spider-Man. The inevitability of my vision. Even now. Doctor Strange using magic since there's no power. You would have been one of the first. Get your filthy paws off her! You damn dirty ape! <laughs> wow. From the hearts that start dripping red. Nice! Yep. Black Panther and the Dora Milaje. Use their same hearts against them. Daredevil. Cloak and Dagger. Nice. Tolerance. Yeah. Omega Red, Dark Star, Crimson Dynamo. Is empathy. Psylocke, Alpha Flight. Holy crap, they are just... They just let loose on the cameos. 200 times. But how's your mommy, Sebastian? <laughs> how's your mom, huh? Tell her I said hi. What? Maybe you two should have listened to what Time's got to say about my mom. Uh-oh. Nice. I <laughs> am Phoenix! Kind of interesting they're bringing Phoenix in at this point. Especially because we don't know, like, what Phoenix is. Is this regular Phoenix? Dark Phoenix? What... What are we dealing with in terms of the Phoenix? Because she's not necessarily a good thing to have around. If so truly, you did not think at all. All I do is think. This sounds like Twitter trolls. <laughs> Just, I know better than you, you're not thinking. Yeah, no, shut up. Please. So she's undoing like all the like years of like de-aging he put himself through. Yeah. Woo. Show me. Show me my face. Oh, he's it doing this to the same to me. That's wild that he did that to Morph, given what he did to Morph. God, this is so good. So he's using Cable's arm to rebuild himself. That's interesting. It's like Archangel Bastion, even though it doesn't have anything to do with Archangel. A quick extinction. <laughs> I want the figure of that. That just looks cool. <laughs> Goes on and these two go lights out. Why ain't they waking up? What's it say? It's wild that we're like about a third of the episode in and we still haven't followed up on what's happening with Wolverine. Who's Magnus? Who are you? I'm a teacher. He's lost his memory, so is he going to be Joseph now or? Don't you dare break her heart. Be the best at what you do. Heal. Don't break her heart? Is he talking about Jean? Sir, if you're still linked with him when that happens, both our minds will be lost. There's another onslaught seed right there. In order to save the world, we must not lose him. Professor. Professor! I will bet this YouTube channel that they bring onslaught in. Like, there's no way they don't bring in onslaught with everything they're doing. Odds may be bad, but the cards are always in the X-Men's favor. Nice. She's now quoting Gambit. <laughs> it's a nice touch. His name was Gambit. Remember it! Yeah! <laughs> Beat his ass! Oh god, that had to have felt good. <laughs> Just rip him apart. Just tear him limb from limb. That guy.
did they fly to like the blue side of the moon? The name Sunspot. Yeah. Definitely got more flair. So they have oxygen on the blue side of the moon in the comics. That's why he's able to like flame on and Ro can breathe and yeah. Yes, and you best pray our children read their textbooks more than their Bibles. For only he Nice. It's T'Chaka and not T'Challa since it's in the 90s. That Sir, makes sense. King T'Chaka is right. Yeah. We know next to nothing about Asteroid M. This could do more harm than good. Is this the Magneto Protocols? Yep, so Fatal Attractions, again. They're doing a really good job with the liberties that they're taking in that storyline in this. It also carries us to others who are fighting their own current. We got Rogue, Polaris, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch. I'll always have you, even if I'm pulled under two. Together, we will this resurface. This is some damn good stuff right here. Good stuff right there. Again! Ah! Damn, he went like full like X-Men versus Capcom or whatever on them. Whatever the old like Capcom X-Men or Street Fighter versus Marvel. It's exactly what that looked like. Game over, Sleezoid. Damn. <laughs> they made Jubilee badass. Love it. <laughs> Oh, that was creepy. Only the can't save itself merely works together to die alone. I don't think so. Yeah, your family's a sentinel. That's that's kind of sad. There. Heard the Greeks did love horses, and I. Forge tends to Nathan. He lives. I was like, why is Sauron there with him? But it was Morph. <laughs> Incarnate. Yeah, everyone's ready for this. Stand down, team. We can't give up. Interesting. We're gonna do what we've been telling humanity to do for years. Stop fighting the future. And embrace... I love it, like, realistically, you can resolve issues with just having a conversation. But in cartoons, you typically don't get that. I love the fact that they went that route with this. Because it makes it a little more realistic in, in a fantasy world. <laughs> this is insane what they're doing in this, though. Nice, Morph turns into Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> so I can't necessarily explain how they're breathing in space, but okay. <laughs> Nathan. Aww. Aren't you sappy lovebirds supposed to be saving the world? <sighs> That sort of ending, huh? I'm afraid so. Told <sighs> me you had my eyes. Oh God, this is some good stuff. And now they're yours. I love you, son. Oh. Let's go. Oh, that was heartbreaking. God, the music in this. And scientists believe that when it makes impact, it will strike the East Holy Coast crap! North America. Is that Peter Parker and Mary... So he finds Mary Jane after the end of the Spider-Man animated series? That's crazy. I love you, Logan. Stay with me. Aw, good job, Morph. Remember what he was meant to do. Magneto! There we go. Alright. So Asteroid M just up and disappears. Okay. In other news, Graydon Creed edged ahead and polls. Nice. President Kelly. Looks like the Days of Future pass cover the x-men are dead <laughs> luckily this ain't our first time at 
The X-Men are dead. <laughs> Someone yanked our friends through time. And now we gotta go rescue the X-Men. Is it Apocalypse? Because Apocalypse has done that before. Uh, Kurt? Hank? We're in Egypt, y'all. We're getting Apocalypse. You don't put the X-Men in Egypt without Apocalypse being involved in some form or fashion. Where are you? The future. Dean! Scott! Over here! Well, at least y'all are still together. Where, wherever y'all are. Right, Mom. Do, 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 do. Sounds like the Terminator theme. <laughs> oh. Bet you it's in Sabanur. Yeah, go ahead, scan that mine. You may call me Mother Ascani, leader of Clan Ascani. Ascani, Rachel Summers. That's uh, that's Jean and Cyclops' daughter, who we saw earlier in this season, also. Do not fear us. What is your name? I don't think he fears you. Is N Sabanur. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> you damn right, beast. Oh, God, that was good. So we've got Apocalypse coming. Interesting, nothing with uh, Onslaught, so... God, this show is so good. Oh! Post credits! So much pain, my children. Who is this? Oh. So much death. Yes! Yes! All all of the yes. All the yeses, all of it. That that right there. Uh confirmed. Apocalypse is coming, and they're bringing back Gambit as uh, the Horseman Death. So we're getting Gambit in Season 2. Fantastic. This show is phenomenal. One of the best Marvel television series ever. Um, I don't know. Again, I've said this before on previous reactions, and I'm going to state it here with a very hard, firm tone. I don't know what happened between... Marvel and Bo DeMaio, the writer, producer of this show, but fix it. Whatever you have to do, get it resolved. Bring him back. This show needs to continue the way it is going right now. I don't trust... <laughs> I was like, I don't trust anyone else. Bo DeMaio has done a phenomenal job hitting the nail on the head with this show. I absolutely adore what he did this season. And, uh, I don't know, just fix the problems. Everyone come back together. I know it's kind of like selfish sounding that I'm only wanting this resolved just for my and everyone else's uh, entertainment because everyone seems to be singing good praises about this. I know it was recently released, uh, apparently, that the TV series Echo has done better numbers for Disney Plus than X-Men 97. Sure. I guess. Echo wasn't bad. It was an okay show. But this is phenomenal. And the people who love the X-Men, specifically the people who came from X-Men the Animated Series, I guarantee like 99.999% of those people have to be loving what they did with X-Men 97. It's been years that we've been waiting for this show since it was first announced. And if we knew back then when it was announced how good the show was going to be now that we're at the end of the first season people would have been complaining about this show not coming fast enough <laughs> it's it's amazing uh i hope like everything i was saying as firm as i was about the bo de mayo situation i get it if there actually is something in there that they can't get past i'm sorry to hear that that would suck but man Obviously, he is a person who enjoys what he was doing. He, I've seen him tweeting every time that they release a new episode. And you can just see in his tweets, he's sitting there on his phone, on his computer. Biggest smile on his face because we all know 
or because he knows that we are all loving the hell out of this series. So, uh, as far as gushing over this show, I mean, <laughs> that's I feel like that's there's nothing more I can really say about this. Uh, just phenomenal job all the way around. The voices, yeah, some of the voices at the beginning of this I felt were a little off. Lenore Zahn didn't quite sound like Rogue back from the 90s. But here, again, at the end of the first season, I don't care. She got it. It's Rogue. All the other voices sound good. Uh, I'm, I'm fully engulfed back into this world like I was a kid back in the 90s, enjoying the animated series back then. And I don't mean to sound like that's gatekeeping, like you're not going to fully appreciate this unless you grew up with that 90s animated show. Uh, I feel like this has a very good reach for anyone who may be a fan of the X-Men as well. S uh, putting aside, if you didn't know anything about the original X-Men the Animated Series, this was still like just a giant feast. Those of us who love like the X-Men, Marvel, cartoons, animation like this, we all ate well with this season, regardless of your connection to it. I had a blast with this. As I said at the beginning, I'm so sorry I didn't do the reactions to the beginning, like the first half of the season. I would have loved to have been on this journey of reacting, of talking to everyone who's watching these videos and just playing like theory games over and over and over again. When is Mephisto going to show up? Is Val Cooper actually Mystique? Who knows? <laughs> like, all of those would have been fun to have, like, documented on camera. Uh, so, when this comes back for season two, I very likely will be doing a full reaction for that full season. Bring on Onslaught. Bring on Apocalypse. I am eager for all of that. We'll see where this next season takes us. Uh, I love, like, all the cameos we got in this with, like I said, the Iron Man from the 90s Iron Man cartoon. I remember waking up, it was Saturday morning, and it was like 5 or 6 o'clock a.m. Uh, here in Texas, and I'm not doing that nowadays. <laughs> if I get to sleep in, I'm sleeping till like, noon. This getting up at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, <laughs> no, adult me not doing that. Uh, but I remember as a kid... Like, my parents would have my breakfast already set aside. All I had to do was pour milk in a Tupperware bowl of cereal. Everything was laid out for me. And I got to sit down and watch the Marvel Action Hour, which was Iron Man and Fantastic Four. Graded, granted, <laughs> graded, granted, granted, they weren't the greatest of 90s Marvel animation, but they were still fun. I had a lot of good times with Iron Man. There's a bunch of Iron Man episodes that I fondly remember. Uh, same with Fantastic Four, especially everything they did in regards to Silver Surfer, Galactus, and all those storylines. Hell, there was one episode with Galactus where they brought in uh, Ghost Rider, which was weird and off the wall, but... They call me Ghost Rider. I am summoned when innocent blood is shed. They did some good stuff with these with these cartoons. Uh, I remember there was the Hulk that was on UPN, which I didn't have access to UPN, so I never got to watch the 90s Hulk cartoon. Uh, and then there was the Silver Surfer cartoon, which was great. I love that they made Silver Surfer kind of poetic in a way. He talked with a very soft, poetic voice. But I think they did a really good job, especially on the animation on that, really nailing those Jack Kirby drawings and style for it. I would love to see more of these come back, and specifically uh, Spider-Man. Bring back Spider-Man. Do Spider-Man 98. The fact that we got Peter Parker and Mary Jane in this episode, if you're familiar with the Spider-Man from the 90s, it ended on a massive cliffhanger where Madam Web, yes, she was popular, we did care about her, and we did used to like her. <laughs> Madam Web was taking Peter through space and time to go locate Mary Jane, who got lost like in the time dilation portal thing the bob whatever nerd stuff <laughs> but like we never got the resolution if Peter Parker was able to find Mary Jane and apparently he is according to this episode so so much good stuff i want to see all of this pay off uh what was it there was omega red with crimson dynamo and i believe her name was like dark star or something like that 
just everything that they've done with this is so good. I can't wait to see more of it. Anyways, that's going to do it for my X-Men 97 reactions. Uh, what did you think of this episode or of this reaction? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you have any theories that I didn't like claim or nail or anything? Where else could this show be going? Because, again, in all honesty, this show went into multiple different directions in different comic book storylines and combining them all to one singular storyline throughout this entire season. Big kudos again to Bo DeMaio for pulling that off and the entire team who made this show so good. So again, what were your theories? What did you think that was going to happen? What do you think is still going to happen? What could potentially be going on in Season 2? Let me know down below in the comments. While you're down there, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because you want to subscribe. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. That's why that button's there. You have to click it. <laughs> so subscribe as I do more things. I am going back to reacting to just various other random things, including something extremely personal coming up. So stay tuned for that. Uh, otherwise, you can follow me on all the social media. Are you on social media? So am I. Follow me at RCA Reacts on Twitter and Instagram and Letterboxd for movie information or my movie ratings, basically. Uh, TikTok, I should be doing something on there pretty soon, hopefully. Also, make sure you come follow me and my brother over on <sighs> YouTube.com slash CineFanatics where we are doing reactions to movie <sighs> trailers, doing movie reviews. Uh, I do rankings on, like, shorts as soon as I can get to them. A lot of fun stuff. If you like movies, come over there. Having a lot of fun with that also. Otherwise, thank you for watching these. Thank you for watching all of my videos and specifically these X-Men 97 reactions. This has been so much fun. I can't wait to do this again. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.